Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lemon Sisters. As you can see, I am short a Lemon Sister again today. Hmm, who can I get to help me? I don't know, maybe it's Christopher, my husband. And um, so this is a kind of a different episode today. Um, it's episode 38. Episode 38. Episode 38. Here's your middle part. Um, anyways, so Leanne is not with us today. Um, just sometimes our lives don't have time to get together, which is sad. So we wanted to bring a little bit different type of Disney um, magic to you tonight. And we're taping here in our game room. And as you can see behind us, um, we might get some close-up shots. It's kind of like our superhero wall, if you will. And um, since Disney now owns Marvel and pretty much the rest of the world, um, we decided to give you our review of Captain America, The Winter Soldier. We were so dedicated to going and seeing this movie that we drove two hours um, to see it with our um, my sister-in-law, his sister, in Ohio. And, oh my gosh, it was great. So, first of all, um, say hi. Hello. He is not just mute. Yes, he talks. Um, but we we were really excited to see this anyways. And we plan on seeing it with all of my family here as well. Um, but we just had to see it opening weekend. Which is really exciting. Um, so, first of all, um, this is kind of what me and Leanne do. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, um, 1 being, uh, I wouldn't see it again. 10 being, oh my goodness, 12 more times in the theater. All right, count of three. We're going to give our numbers with hands. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh, a 10? Really? Easily. I mean, it was good, but a 10? I would give it more, except I don't have that many fingers. Mm. Okay, well, let's talk about the trailers first. Um, th we got a really good exclusive trailer for Maleficent coming up. Of course, it's a Disney movie. Um, and so they had a lot of Disney trailers. So what did you think about the Maleficent trailer? The Maleficent trailer, well, it really didn't show anything different to me than the other trailers that I've seen online. Slightly different footage than, I think, the third release trailer that they had out there. Yeah, because of a bunch. But regardless, I mean, they're kind of keeping a lot uh, beyond what they've already shown under wraps, I feel like. But it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, something that I've actually caught from the last, the I think, the, well, you said the third Released this one. This might have actually been the third release trailer. I'm it might sure. have. I feel like it was a little bit longer, but yeah. um, I've noticed it's more true about like Maleficent and not necessarily about the story of Sleeping Beauty, which kind of makes me sad because I kind of wanted to see a live action thing of like the whole story of Sleeping Beauty. I think it'll have that in there, but I think more of this is going to end up being like legit Maleficent, which is what the name of the movie is. So I'm kind of torn about that personally because Maleficent is one of the I think most intriguing and villainous villains if it's I can cool. put it that way that Disney has going on right now yeah and everybody kind of already knows the story of Sleeping Beauty and it would be a travesty yeah. if that wasn't a part of it but exploring that character I think is going to be fun true I'm almost slightly worried that they're going to try to make Maleficent kind of a misunderstood hero as opposed to a truly evil creature yeah you kind of catch that if you watch the trailers it kind of mentions that she was a fairy obviously that kind of thing gives depth to certain characters but I feel mm -hmm. like part of Maleficent's appeal is the fact that she's one of the only really really evil villains I mean just demonic kind of villains that Disney has so yeah she's evil mm -hmm. which I think is why Leanne likes her well, you know, she feels a certain camaraderie there. I can see that. Kind of yeah. like sisters. Because <laughs> she's not here, so we can say that. Um, anyways, okay, so moving on to, <clears throat> excuse me, Captain America, the Winter Soldier. So, you saw a couple new faces in this. Um, it's really hard um, to give a review without any spoilers. So we are going to do our best and not sure. ruin it for you. Um, but things that you've seen in the trailers, um, we see the Falcon which I thought was a great, great role. Like, I look forward to seeing him hop possibly in the Avengers 2. Um, Age of Ultron, is it what that's mm -hmm. called? Yeah. Um, so what did you think about him? I wasn't as ex excited with his character as a lot of other people have been. Really? And things that I've seen. It's it was a good a character. Well, perhaps. I mean, the sex appeal wasn't exactly there for me. But... <laughs> 
Uh, that besides, I feel like they just didn't do necessarily as much with him. He definitely was a good character and had a personality and you got to see some hints of some of his like backstory and the fact that he has a little bit of emotional depth to him. He definitely wasn't a cardboard cutout or anything. Yeah. They just didn't use him a whole lot. He was kind of critical to the end. I mean, uh, things that were shaping up in the finale, which I cannot talk about, uh, wouldn't have been able to take place without his presence there, but yep. he still felt more like something that they were kind of getting ready to build upon versus actually being a fully... Yeah hey, here's the next big thing kind of guy. Which and sort of, that's exactly what uh, Black Widow, who also plays heavily into this one, was. Uh, oh, yeah. When she got her start, which was in Iron Man 2. And she was just kind I of there. And you saw that. that she was kind of cool, but she wasn't really fleshed out until uh, oh, the future. So. so cool. I think every woman wants to be here and every man wants to be with her. Like, true. Look at, look at that. Look at that smile. Every time she came on the <laughs> screen. Like, this man couldn't keep... Really? That smile. That's his guilty smile. I know. I was talking about. He can't hide it, but it's okay. I have my actors. Anyway, so, but yeah, that brings us to Black Widow. It was really cool to see her in this. Um, she had a much bigger part. And for those of you people that watch How I Met Your Mother, Robin Schabotsky. She came back. <laughs> it was so sad to see her leave that show, and then, boom, she pops up in The Avengers, which is kind of a spoiler because it's, she's not in any of the trailers that I saw. Did you see her in any? No, I don't think no, so. No, so hey, spoiler! She's there. Kind of a spoiler. That big a spoiler, though. Yeah. Like, she was in the Avengers. Anyway. She wasn't necessarily critical to the plot. Just a familiar she face. She kind of was. Well, Remember she wasn't, she wasn't. Because one... up until this point, she hasn't really had much of a yeah. character or involvement, so... But they kind of develop her a little bit more, too. And really, mm -hmm. this is not, like, super, super action. I mean, it is super action-packed. I mean, it's Captain America. But it's not, it's, it's, I really liked it. They had, they took a lot more time with the story and really made you fall in love with the characters even more. There are some things that they're doing that I'm not excited about. I can't tell you until, you know, a little bit later. Like, with, with the Winter Soldier, I'm not, I'm not really happy. Oh, I see where you're going yeah. with this now. Yeah. And so if you've seen it, do, and we're not going to tell you. So. Yeah. So if you've seen it, tell us below what you thought about that part. And I thought the ending was really cool. Always good to see, you know, Nick Fury in there, Samuel L. Jackson, and all of you people out there that watch Agents of No Shield. What is it called? Marvel's okay. Agents of Shield, right? Yeah. Um, if you don't watch it, watch it. Okay. Apparently, like we're taping this on Tuesday, and, and tonight. We don't have normal cable, so we'll be watching it tomorrow. But they supposedly is going to have, like, it all ties in together and all continues. And it's going to be so cool to see it. Like, Agent Sitwell, which was in the last episode, is in the Captain America movie. And he plays, like, a really big role. So it's so cool to see, like, all of our worlds. Like, Disney is so good! They, like, make all my worlds go together, and it makes me happy. Anyway, so we loved The Winter Soldier. You loved it. Absolutely. Obviously, he thought it was a 10. Um, there's just so much cool stuff. I am a horrible person, and I looked up spoilers and Easter eggs uh, before we went and saw the movie. <laughs> he did not, because I wanted to see them all, and it's really cool. So if you want to see that, there's websites out there that'll tell you spoilers to it before you see it. And, again, it is a Marvel movie. Stay to the end, people. And not just the first ending. Stay all the way through. It's short, but it's worth it. Yeah, they have like this graphical credits thing with all the actors and stuff. And at the end of that, you get to see your little special Marvel yeah. thing. And then they just roll the normal credits with the key grips and uh, and the gaffers and all of that. And then people are up and leaving the theater and very foolish because, you know, Marvel does its thing. Yeah. They do it, so just stay there. Um, okay, so we want to hear from you. Tell us what you thought about the movie. If you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, if you don't plan on seeing it, um, definitely if you've not seen the first Captain America, see it before you go see the second one. It's going to be kind of important to know what Very you're true. looking at. I would actually recommend that you see the first Captain America and the Avengers because yeah, the Avengers kind of was a, a hub where all of yeah. these separate movies up to that point joined together and it developed the plot line, and so... Characters and people like the Black Widow and Nick Fury, who pay very heavily into this film, uh, 
you know, that is all tying directly through the Avengers uh, storyline. So you're going to want to catch that one as well and just watch. Even if you haven't seen any of the other Marvel movies, think of this as like your own personal little Captain America trilogy. Captain America, the Avengers, the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Okay, make sure you like this video, share it with all your friends, and tell us what you think. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the Lemon Sisters. We'll be back next week, um, hopefully with Leanne, whenever we can get together. So, that is all. Until next time, you have to do that. Okay, ready? Until next time, have a magical day.